ideas in last class the exercise 3.1 up to three sums we completed now we will move to the fourth sum fourth sum see here examine uh, the table each figure in there is each figure is divided into triangle and some of the triangles reduced from that okay keela kuduthiruka figure enna pandranga na ovvoru figure yum undu triangle ah convert panni adoda adha vechi angle sum property eludirukanga idha vechi nam enna panaporom na formula create panna porom see here first figure is a triangle idha edukitha side irukku three sides so triangle oda angle sum enna na a 180 degree adha namakku theriyum adha adutha irukka figure four sides irukku idhu kedaira or line draw panni idha vandu two triangles ah convert pannirukom convert panni 4 adha 2 into 180 adha 2 triangles irukona 2 into 180 that is 2 into 180 eppadi eludranga na the sides la and four side ah 4 la and 2 o subtraction panna 2 kedaikum so 2 into 180 abingra maari split panniranga next paarenga five sides irukku five sides irukadha eppadi irukadha five sides irukadha naduvula rendu line draw panni three three triangle ah convert panniranga so 3 into 180 degree abin solliranga so indha three eppadi solliranga sides la and rendu subtract panniranga inge rendu subtract panniranga inge rendu subtract panniranga adhe maari adha அதுதான் பாருங்க அது மாதிரி தான் ரெண்டே சப்ராக்ட் பண்ணிருக்காங்க சோ இதுல இருந்து நம்ம என்ன ஃபார்முலா எழுதலாம்னா சோ சைஸ் வந்து சைஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு n அப்படினா இந்த ஃபார்ங்க ஆங்கிள் சம் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி எப்படி எழுதலாம்னா ஆங்கிள் சம் ஈக்குவல் டு n 2 180 ன்னு எழுதலாம் ஓகேவா இத வச்சு பின்னாடி கொடுத்துறோம் n 2 180 ன்னு எழுதலாம் இத வச்சு பின்னாடி கொடுத்துற சம்ஸ்க்கு நம்ம ஆங்கிள் சம் கண்டுபிடிக்க போறோம் fourth sum what can you say about the angle sum of convex polygon with the measure of nerve sides here 7 8 then 10 n okay i am going to do for uh, c and d c and d you have to do for a and b a and b is homework for you okay we itself we know we form the uh, for, we form the formula is angle sum of polygon equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree here n equal to n to 10 minus 2 into 180 degree that is 10 minus 2 is 8 8 into 180 degree i am going to multiply now 180 into 8 okay 8 sorry 0 8 is 64 ko 4 carrying 6 180 is 8 8 plus 6 um 8 plus 6 14 therefore 1400 okay 1440 here n only they gave so the formula is n minus 2 into 180 degree that's all okay like this you have to write the formula and substitute 8 and 7 and get the answers this is the homework for you now we will move to the next sum now fifth sum fifth sum what is a regular polygon they are asking what is a regular polygon okay first itself i told regular polygon means the sides of uh, the all the sides and all the angles are equal in one polygon all the sides and all the angles are equal means that is known as regular polygon okay now i am going uh, going to write hmm. the polygon with all the sides and angles with uh, all the sides angle will be sorry the polygon which has which uh, which has all the sides and all the angles are equal is known as known as regular polygon okay now we are going to now going to write the subdivision state the name of a regular polygon of three sides three sides means that is triangle three regular polygon that means all the sides wants to be equal so the three sides equal equal a triangle is known as equilateral so yeah, triangle so this is equilateral triangle okay next one four sides is known as quadrilateral all the sides equal four sides all the sides are angles equal means that is known as square then six side is known as hexagon six sides also equal means that hexagon is known as regular hexagon 
okay now fifth sum is completed we will move to the sixth sum okay now here find the angle measure x in the following figures okay they gave the figure in this figure we want to find out the value of x i will i will write this uh, some steps so you have to simplify and find out the x okay for, for this i am going to write angle sum of polygon so angle sum of polygon angle sum of polygon equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree here n value 1 2 3 4 sides 4 sides so 4 minus 2 into 180 degree okay here angle sum means sum of all the sides so i am going to write x plus 120 plus 130 plus 50 while adding this you want to get this answer isn't it uh, now i am going to simplify this x plus you have to add this all the one 120 130 50 0 8 10 to 0 carrying 1 300 x plus 300 equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 2 into 180 degree so x plus 300 equal to 2 into 180 360 degree so if we need x value so x i keep the x to the side if we, this plus 300 is moving to the side means minus 300 so 360 minus 300 that is 60 degree so x equal to 60 degree i completed the first sum now i am going to move to the b sum this is the b sum here also 90 degree means this side also 90 degree this also angle sum property only angle sum of polygon equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree here you have to add all the sides so x plus 70 plus 60 plus 90 so x plus 70 plus 60 plus 90 equal to n minus 2 that means 1 2 3 4 sides 4 sides so 4 minus 2 into 180 degree after this you have to simplify and find out the value of x okay now i am moving to the c sum see some see here both side also x see here correctly here 30 degree x x this two angles also we want to know then only we can use the angle sum property see here this full is known as 180 okay half is 70 so the balance will be 110 like this here also full is 180 half is 60 the balance is 120 so now we know the inside angle of this two now I am going to apply the angle sum property. So angle sum of polygon equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree. For this I am going to write x yes, plus 30 plus here 1x plus 110 plus 120. 110 plus 120 equal to n minus 2 for n. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. So, 5 minus 2 into 180 degree. Now, I am going to add this x plus x, 2x plus 30, 110, 120. I am adding this 110, 120, 30, 0, 5, 6, 2, 260, 260 degree equal to 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 into 180 degree. Now you have to simplify this and find out the value of x. Okay. Now I am moving to the next sum. Now d sum. See here. Here all the sides are equal. As well as they told all the angles are so equal. So this is known as a regular polygon. Okay. I am going to just I told the name. Okay. Now I am going to find out the angle of x. So angle sum of polygon equal to n minus 2 into 180 that is uh, 90 x 1 2 3 4 5 5 angles we have so 5 x equal to n minus 2 1 2 3 4 5 5 sides 5 minus 2 into 180 degree this one i will do 5 x equal to 3 into 180 degree so we need x equal to x so i keep the x here if the 5 move to the side means it will come and divide 1 5 is 5 2 5 is 10 sorry 3 5 is 15 carrying 3 so 6 5 is 3 into 36 if you multiply means 
you will get 180. So, x equal to 108 degree. Okay. That's all. The 6th sum is completed. We will move to the 7th sum. 7th sum. See here. A sum. Find x, y, x plus y plus z. I will tell what is the value of x, y, z alone. You have to add this three angles and find out the answer. Okay. Now, x sum. How you want to find out that one I am going to tell in the figure. Next we will write the steps. Okay. See here this fully V is known as 180 degree. Half is 90. So balance uh, X also 90. Okay. Here also full is 30 degree. Half is full is 180. Half is 30. So balance is 150. So X equal to 90. Z equal to 150 for Y. See here, this is the exterior angle. So, exterior angle equal to sum of opposite interior angle. So, you have to y equal to 90 plus 30. So, y equal to 120. I told in the figure. Now, I am going to write as a statement. So, see here. x plus 90 degree equal to 180. This one by linear pair. Pair of angles. Okay, so x equal to 180 minus 90. So, x equal to 180 minus 90 is 90 degree. For y or z also, z plus 30 degree equal to 180. So, z equal to 180 minus 30. z equal to 150. Okay, next one, this two, uh, linear, by linear pair of by linear pair of angle, we wrote these two numbers, these two. Now, I am going to write for y. For y, I told the formula is exterior angle property. Exterior angle equal to sum of opposite interior angle by that exterior angle is y so y equal to opposite interior is 90 plus 30 so 90 degree plus 30 degree y equal to 120 now we know the value for x y y z okay you have to find out x plus y plus z simply you have to add these three angles and tell the answers okay that is the answer now we will move to the b sum B sum is x plus y plus z plus w. Okay. Here also I am going to tell the value of x, y, z, w. You have to add this angles and tell the answer. Okay. For, uh, by figure I am telling see here. Here this fully 180 half is 120. So x equal to 60. Okay. Here also fully 180 half is 80. So y equal to 100. As well as here also 60. Fully 180 half is 60. So the balance is 120 okay here w we can find out by the angle sum property for that i take this as a a so we know the uh, angles of this and all okay by angle sum property we can find out a as well by that we will buy, find out w okay now i am going to write in steps see here uh, first i am i will write for x y z okay and that for that i am going to use linear pair so i am right by linear pair of angles and the formula x plus 120 equal to 180 as well as here y plus 80 y plus 80 equal to 180 here z plus 60 so z plus 60 equal to 180 by this I am writing this three sets and now I am going to simplify so x equal to 180 minus 120 that is x equal to 60 degree now we find out the x value y value y equal to 180 here it is coming means minus 80 so y equal to 100 next is z z equal to 180 minus 60 z equal to 120 okay now I am going to see here angle sum property. Okay. So angle sum of polygon that is n minus 2 and to 180 degree. 1, 2, 3, 4 sides. So 4 minus 2 into 180 degree. 
angle sum means you want to add this angle 60 80 120 plus a so 60 80 120 plus a if you you have to add this all the one 120 80 60 0 10 16 to 6 carrying 1 so 260 so 260 plus a equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 2 into 180 degree so 260 degree plus a equal to 360 so a equal to 360 degree minus 260 that is a equal to 100 see the figure a equal to 100 this full is 180 half is 100 so w equal to 180 degree now i am going to write as a step okay this also by linear pair of angles so um, w plus a equal to 180 degree w plus a is y value is 100 equal to 180 so w equal to 180 degree minus 100 w equal to 80 degree now i told the values of x y z w also so you have to find out x plus y plus z plus w value this is the homework for you that's all dear the exercise 3.1 is completed in next class we will move to the exercise 3.2 thank you dears